Alright, so I have a very quick Photoshop and Illustrator tutorial for you. Uh, I've been asked this question a lot on how to take a pen and ink scan and get it ready to paint it or add some sort of effects to it um, and basically how to clean it up. So when you have a, a scan like this, the first thing you want to do is go in and clean up any stray pencil marks or pencil indentations, any dirt, uh, debris, <laughs> basically anything. Um, the first step is to go ahead and make your scan its own layer to have some transparency and such. So quick method to that is to just simply double click that layer and it will give it a new layer. Now you have it as its own uh, layer. So what you want to do is create a new layer behind it. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer, drag it behind it, and we'll toggle my line art off so you can see this layer and simply fill this with white so I hit control delete to fill it with the background color so I'll turn my line art back on and since we want to drop out the basically the paper texture the grays of the paper all of this stuff one thing we need to do is go through and clean up as much as possible so just take your eraser and get rid of a lot of the uh, the indentations the pencil marks um, basically anything that should not be there smudges as much as you can because the more you can clean up in right now will basically determine how clean line art you have to work with uh, for when you want to start coloring it so go through and get rid of smudges and dirt and all this stuff um, if you drew this on say like I did like printer paper you're gonna get a lot of gray kinda haze that you need to get rid of um, there's a trick to kinda getting rid of a little more of that though so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this text here and just kinda go around and clean up as much as possible but see how I'm not I'm not touching the the line art that I wanna keep very much I'm just simply going through and cleaning up here and there so for lack of time let me show you the next step to, to drop out the white texture completely what you want to do is double click your line art layer and you see towards the bottom here you have this blend if section and by default it's gray you want to keep it to gray and what this does is it will try and drop out whatever um, color you want basically so if I want to get rid of this the, the darks or the black you can kinda of pull this slider over on the left hand side and get rid of the the the, the darkest um, colors on this on this layer same thing with the right hand side you can get rid of the white um, now this can be very harsh and really kind of make everything look a little bit pixelated so one trick with these arrows here is to hold alt and then you can split the arrows and get a much cleaner smoother kind of fade from the in this case from the whites into the black so this right here is a majority of the work see how it cleaned a lot of that up there's still some strays here I need to delete um, but now you basically dropped out the the paper texture and the grays and are left with just your artwork now if you want to if you want to go ahead and flatten this into its own layer what you can do is create a layer above this a blank layer hold shift select both and hit control E and now you'll see that you are just completely left with your line art um, so if you're stuck in a pinch for time you can go ahead and even start painting from here you can create a layer below and start creating your your color one thing to do on this line art layer is to go ahead and use a color overlay and set that to black by your layer effects um, palette and see how you can go ahead and quickly change the colors to make it much more consistent so if you want a flat black you can do something like that and there you go it's it's still kinda jaggedy though uh, ideally you'd go through and trace a lot of this and clean up some of these edges there's actually another really quick method on how to clean that up a little bit better as well and I will show you that now so go ahead and select your uh, your entire line art hit control A and then control C and then it, hopefully you have Illustrator boot up Illustrator and create a new document 
and you'll see the same process in the Shore Wars video. I did the, uh, the same thing here. Click OK. You don't need to worry about your size here because we're just going to use this long enough to trace and then we're going to go right back to Photoshop. So Control V to paste your bitmap drawing. Now I don't know if this is the same for everyone but when I load a bitmap drawing in Illustrator right up front I get this live trace option and this live trace tool will have Illustrator try and go through and create a, a tracing of your line art. So if you click this um, for us you'll get this alert saying the image might be pretty big it might take a while click OK and there you go it did a pretty decent job right up front you can see that the lines are cleaner uh, the shapes look nicer there's still some jaggeds here and there you can see some of my my ink lines turn into basically dots but there's a lot of settings here that you can modify to try and and get the the pen and ink to your liking those settings are up here. You have your threshold and you have your minimum pixel area. So you can drop these up or down and it will tell Illustrator to go through and trace it again and you can see the different settings um, take place and, and see what it does. So for us, so this is actually looking pretty good. Um, if you like how it looks, the next thing you would click is the expand button here and that will basically go, th go through and make uh, paths out of everything. And we kind of fell off the canvas here a little bit. So let's drag this back over so we can see. Now, this also outlined the white. So if you want to just get your, your black line art, one thing you can quickly do is select, use your, uh, your direct selection arrow and select one of the white areas. Then up here, go to select, same, fill color. And that will select the rest of the white and just simply click delete and now you should just be left with your line art so if we hit control C as well and then go back into Photoshop and let's create a new document and let's create kind of a big document let's do 12 inches by 12 inches since we're gonna make a print resolution version and it's at 300 dpi click OK and then just simply click or hit control V and there you go you have a much cleaner scalable vector version of your line art and that actually looks very very clean so now you can just create a layer behind it and start painting whatever you want to do basically and, and that seems to work pretty well see how there's no halo around the ink it's uh, it's just now it's just black on whatever color you want below it so there you go so that's a real fast way to clean up line art um, like I said, it's not the preferred method. Preferred is to go through and really clean it up by hand with the eraser tool and then to trace it in Illustrator if need be. Um, or simply, a lot of people use a tablet and just redraw on the screen. But uh, if you're like me and uh, are short on time, <laughs> this is a real good method to, to use this. And again, if you don't have Illustrator, you can stop here and use just this method and just clean up as much as you can within Photoshop. But uh, there you go. That's how to drop out the, the white and just be left with your pen and ink. So hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. Later.